Hello viewers, SuperGT here. Thank you for joining me for more content. Okay, right, we have a new season of FIA. Jolly good stuff. Here's the calendar, let's have a look. So eight rounds. Round number one, this round, this video, is Red Bull Ring, short circuit group four. But first, we must choose a manufacturer. And I am gonna side with BMW. I went with them last year, but I didn't really do any of the races. So we've got unfinished business. In this, the BMW M4 in group four. In group three, the mighty Chungus. There it is, the BMW M6. Sign your life away. And take a look at this livery. Oh my goodness. Thank you to the Forza livery guy for stepping over to the world of Gran Turismo and creating some awesome liveries for the group three and four cars. You can download them if you want. Uh, the tag is Quadrant if you wanna give this a, a, a go. Right, let's get into some practice. Now, if you're new to the channel, if you do enjoy the video, of course, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. I won't force you, but if you do enjoy, then think about it at least. Okay, so before the race actually started, we jumped into this practice session, as you can see, just to really learn the intricacies of the car. I did a fair amount of laps, as you can see. One of the themes I worked out was the front left tire dying of death as it is very much a right-hand circuit dominate, dominated by right-handers, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so we practiced our pit stop, went out on the medium tyre, so for the upcoming race, there's a 23 lap uh, race around this circuit, and we have to use both sets of tyres, actually uh, so, no, sorry, we have to use the medium tyre, you can just go out with the medium. But, um, one thing I also learned is ignoring the track limits is very easy at this track. It's going to be a tricky race of trying to not get penalised every five seconds. Okay then, let's jump straight into it. Race number one, qualifying. Let's have a look at this quadrant livery in all of its glory. Okay, so qualifying is going to be uber important here. As it, I mean it always is. Really. We found ourselves behind our fellow BMW user. And... The reason why qualifying is so important around especially such a short circuit like this is that because it's so short, the time's going to be so close. This guy, I don't know what happened. They tried to leave or go back to the pit lane and annoyingly I went into the back of him. He would have moved out the way you would have thought. But um, our first lap was eight and a half tenths off the lead. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot around such a short track. It's only a 52 second lap or 51 if you're good. And... Therefore, we do need to improve that. We're down in 14th at this point in time. But we get ourselves another penalty. Back to the pit lane. We go out again. Try to set a better lap. Try to get it right through turn one. And it looks like we did take that actually all right that time. Going into the final corner. We, we're two tenths down in the first sector. Coming through the final. Oh, there we go. Another penalty. So, tragically after all that, we finished 18th, which is just rubbish. But because FIA is back... This does mean the FIA intro is back. My tides are minus 200 degrees. What is this? What the f is this game? This game is so sh I've had it, I've had it, man. I've had it so much. Righty then, let's get into it. Let's hope that we don't have a similar fate to Mr. TRL Limitless with minus 200 degree tyres. Uh, oh, this guy <laughs> forgetting to actually go. Uh, we can see him in the in the back of shop. There he goes, just off into the wall. Um, that's not an ideal strategy, actually. I was thinking about the strategy for this race, and just forgetting to turn and driving to the wall isn't one of the things I was thinking about. Um, so we're starting on the medium tyre, and then the plan is to hit in the middle of the race, maybe about lap 10, 11, and then go to the soft tyre. Took us a couple of laps to catch up with the pack, as you can see here. We find ourselves now in 16. You know, not great, but we can hopefully make up a couple of positions at least. See how this race goes. Uh, this guy wanted to break super early. He went up his inside, but then he got the old switcheroo on the exit. And then the next corner is in his favour. Got really annoyingly got a track limit penalty there. And that is the thing we're going to have to really try to avoid. Um, it can really kill your race. Although, luckily, the penalty line, as you can see there, not too bad. A bit further into the race, 
lap number nine now. Still in with this pack here. But again, just drifting a bit too wide. Another penalty, the rage. By lap 12, maybe a lap too long, you could say, but came to the pit lane. Get the medium tyres off. Get the softs on. You might have noticed my fuel was a little bit below where it needs to be. As the BMW M4 is a very hungry car. Thirsty car. You know, I suppose. Thirsty car. Very thirsty indeed. And um, I was not quite managing the fuel exactly as I should. And if you think sixth place is my trademark, well, actually running out of fuel is my actual trademark. Something I love to bust out every now and then. And when I say every now and then, I basically mean all the time. Right, trying to get past Supra, who's driving a Lexus, confusingly. Uh, we find ourselves in 16th at this point of the race. Which again, not great, but looking at the map, it is a fairly close race. As uh, the standards in the somewhat higher tiers of FIA are pretty decent. You're going to get some close racing. As uh, the, the standard is fairly well matched. You're going to be matched by a lot of people. So you can have a close race for the most part. I so say it's going to be clean or tidy, just somewhat close. Uh, so we move up a position there as so it drifts a little bit wide. A little bit later on, lap 17 now, the Viper having a bit of a mare, getting himself a penalty. We move up into 14. If I overcook that one, just keep it on the circuit, just within the limits. And I think pretty much through these corners here, just needs to be two wheels on the curb at least. And I think, oh, just for a second there, a second split second he didn't as you can see 0.5 second penalty are oh, we going to go up the inside here we're going to put over to the right hand side look for the 200 no the 100 board there isn't even a 200 board there and we get the move done moving up to 13 okay that's not too bad we did start what was it about? a couple of positions further back and here we can see the main problem i have which is fuel i only have 3.3 laps of fuel remaining when there's four and a half laps of of the race remaining. So that is a bit of an issue. As we cross the line here to begin lap 21, therefore three laps to go, I only have two laps of fuel, 9%. And again, not ideal. We are gonna have to manage this heavily here to the end. I have caught up with my fellow BMW user and I will try to, of course, do well for the BMW brand. I suppose some main aims we have for this season are to get We'll have to see after round one, but I suppose maybe top five for BMW and maybe, or well, overall, maybe top 100. That would be quite tricky, but I think it's a realistic, possible aim. We'll try it. Okay, here we go then. The final lap, or halfway through the final lap, we have, well, 1% of fuel. So I'm going to have to go on to mix three. And I might be able to do this because luckily around here, the last two corners are downhill. I'm on 0% fuel. I'm on fumes here, ladies and gents. Hello BMW user going very wide. It's quite frustrating here because I feel as though a lot of these cars ahead I, I was quicker than, but I just managed it all wrong. As we come up to the line, you can hear I just ran out of fuel about half a second before the finish line. And ultimately, we finished 13th. Now, qualifying could have gone a lot better, and the management could have gone a lot better. Um, we get 147 points there, which isn't that great. We, we can definitely get over 200. We should be getting over 200 in every race, I would have thought. So, as you can see, we're going to go again. 147 isn't enough. We messed up the qualifying. I felt as though my race pace was okay. Once we get into the race, it's, it's, it's not too bad, but I just need to be starting further forward. So for this qualifying session, obviously, you didn't want to mess it up. I um, backed down and got myself behind another car, so we had the benefit of the slipstream. Through turn one, taking that rather nicely. And a little bit later on into the lap, so the second last corner here, again, overcooking it, really easy to do, and I suppose just misjudging it in the slipstream. So you're going into there a little bit quicker than to the final corner. It's really about track limits, this short circuit, just really maximizing track limits, get on the power early out of the corners. Across the line, it's a 51.7, which is three tenths quicker than what I managed in the previous qualifying session. So that's something at least. And three tenths isn't much obviously, but again, on such a short circuit, it is gonna count. 
Um, so we get another penalty, have to back out, go back out the bit lane again to try to do another lap, try to do a green one. And on this occasion, we find ourselves behind this uh, VW, uh, Scirocco, down in 12th, only four tenths away from pole position. But again, it's such a short track, it's going to be really close. Any any gain I can get, even if it's half a tenth, or any, you know, any small amount of time I can gain, might uh, get me a position or two, maybe more. So nice and tidy through here. Um, nearly two tenths up on our previous best. I lift off there, and I shouldn't have done. I'm perhaps a little bit uh, distracted by the Viper going wide onto the gravel. These guys move over to the side, thankfully. And then it's just two corners left to go. I mess up this corner my qualifying that my previous one. So we got it a little bit better that time. So that's going to be a bit of time gained, you'd think. And then dropping down through the final apex. And coming up to the line, is it going to be a sizable improvement? Well, not really, but it was an improvement at least. We move up into 11th, barely four tenths, or less than four tenths away from pole. But to show you how close it is. So we get on with the race. So we're starting 11th, that's a darn sight better than 18th or whatever it was in the last one. Um, because obviously you're starting much further forward and save you a little bit of fuel as well having to travel less distance so everything counts and this time a different strategy i'm going with the soft and then going to go to the medium i'm not sure if this is going to be the better way we shall see i have to go for it in this first stint and then bring it home on the medium tires in the second half of the race and already the group ahead is very very close knit you see the top four have already driven off and then we've got this massive battle for fifth of about seven cars as we come up to the second to last corner it's all going to kick off around here going to try it around the outside of the Scirocco doesn't quite work out I have to back out here going to go for the undercut switcheroo on the exit is it going to work well it looks like it is going to go three abreast temporarily and I can just edge in here to try to take the position and then the Scirocco actually comes back out to make it three abreast once again into the first corner Lap number two, look at that. Three three abreast through that corner, and at best of times, you only want to go single file through there. He gets himself a penalty for that, in fact, does the Scirocco drive. He's up the inside, and I felt like, okay, I'm just going to give him the space. He's got this penalty to serve anyway, and that penalty shall be served just around this corner of this straight. There it is. Not too bad of a penalty zone, this one, as we said earlier. He's going to slow down. There we go. Up into ninth, so we've gained two so far. We do need to potentially be gaining positions in this stint anyway because we are on the softer tyre. Running the track limits to the maximum there out of the second to last corner and the final corner. As we cross the line, we have a Jaguar in tow here. Uh, just checking the brake balance, just check, checking everything. As we come up into the first corner, he kind of goes for it. You might be able to see it on the radar. It's sort of a half-hearted overtake and he doesn't quite make it stick you only really want to go for a move there I think if you're already alongside going in you don't really want to lunge late it doesn't often work uh, but we find ourselves still in ninth the car, uh, the car ahead the Aston Martin here with a 0 0.5 let's see if we can overhaul him we're 0 0.7 behind so it'd be a close one as he goes through serves it he loses momentum he moves to the right hand side to cover the inside coming through here there's the slightest touch in the rear end and it just forces both of us a little bit wide beyond the track limits and something I've noticed when you go beyond the track limits my god your tyres are just filthy and you've got no grip absolutely zero grip it feels like I've got minus 200 degrees tyres right now so I know how JD Limitless feels coming up this main straight three abreast again and coming into the first corner Jagger on the inside he gets the position he, he jumps up two and frustratingly we get one second penalty for that I actually get the undercut on him so into turn two we're up the inside uh, we are going to have to serve this penalty though very frustrating very very annoying indeed but uh, well that's just kind of how it is now so you have to just deal with it mate okay so coming through turn what's that one two three four and then serving the penalty only six corners on this circuit where am i getting that one one two three four yeah six corners i can count everyone right coming down the hill into turn number six dropping down on the power you see they're just keeping two wheels on the red and white and you should be okay in p10 
things are very, very close indeed. In fact, from 8th to well, 12th there, we're all pretty much nose to tail. And um, it seems like a case of forgetting how to drive suddenly there, as uh, that happened to someone in the first race. Uh, the Aston Martin, for some reason, just not deciding to take the corner. And then in some sort of weird avoidance, I get a half second, which is very frustrating. I was just honestly trying to get out of his way, but there you go. Uh, so we serve the penalty. The car ahead serves the penalty. I serve the penalty. The car behind me serves the penalty. So no one actually loses a the position there, funnily enough. Bit of a weird one. Um, but now the race is very much settled down. By lap five, the gaps have just slightly opened up. People have calmed down a little bit. Some of the soft tyre runners have got ahead of the medium tyre runners. But you can see that massive group behind me, and that's not where you want to be. We do have quite a lot of clear space in front, and therefore we can try to push forward and try to just get into that space without having to worry about having to overtake anyone or get into a battle. So that's the main aim for the next couple of laps, just to have a nice, clean, clear couple of laps, try to pull away from this group if possible, and get ourselves into a good position before we go for our pit stop in maybe six or so laps time. We're going to skip it forward to lap number 11, up the hill, into turn number 1. Still taking it rather nicely. Here's the track limit, so let's take a look. And I thought that was just about alright if you keep two wheels just inside the yellow sausage. But no. The stewards are not looking upon me favourably today. Uh, we're going to have to serve another penalty. So how many is that now? Two seconds of penalty so far. Not ideal. First people beginning to pit. And I am going to join them in the pit lane to so come in at the end of lap 11 the fuel situation a little bit better than it was in the previous race where it seemed to be a couple of laps down on fuel this one this time maybe just one lap down on fuel right leaving the pit lane let's see where we're going to come out here this is going to be quite pivotal to the race come out in 15th we are behind quite a lot of cars here it might take a lap or two to get to them, but hopefully by the time I do get to them, they start dissolving into the pit lane and getting out of the way. That's the main gist of what I want here, but this is motorsport. You don't always get what you want. In fact, you rarely do. Right, 13 laps in the books nearly. Coming through the penultimate corner. Some cars going into the pit lane. Corvette pulling over to the right-hand side there. And then now we're tucked up behind the Corvette and the Lexus. I do bump him through the corner, but it isn't, it isn't going to work for me because he's got the toe of the Lexus, and therefore the Corvette is just going to come flying back past. We're going to have to tuck back in. Another car leaving the pit lane. There's a massive group of about five, six cars there just around the corner. We're going to get the undercut on the way out of the corner. This gives us the inside for the next turn, turn two. He's seen me there, and he's left the space, and we're going to get the job done. So just take a look at the size of that group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cars in that group up ahead. Very tasty and spicy potential battle going on there. Toyota with a two second penalty. Are we going to be able to get ahead of him? Let's take a look. Yes, we are. 0.5 second penalties aren't too bad. You don't lose too much momentum. When it's two seconds, you do lose a fair amount of time. Someone else into the pit lane. The Lexus. A little bit slow off the turn. Are we going to be able to capitalise? We're going to move to the inside, but we've just run out of steam there as we don't have the slipstream of the Scirocco there in 8th place. We're going to be a little bit, uh, bit more patient here. Sitting, sitting in the top 10 at this point in time. It could be worse. We're going to try again to get the undercut. Jaguar spinning off to the right-hand side. Free position. And he's recognised I'm just alongside. And the space is given. We go up into 8th. So two positions gained there in about five seconds. And we gain the third one. We move over to the left-hand side. I've got the momentum here on this guy. And he doesn't quite have a good run. I want to have the inside ideally. I'm not sure if he's going to try and pit here. But um, we've got the inside anyway. And move up into seventh. You see in the back of shot here, he does actually move over to the right-hand side. Uh, so it's a very awkward pit entry here. As you just kind of have to pin it on the apex on that second to last corner. And often you're going to get in the way or someone's going to get in your way as you try to go in and that does happen a fair amount so you have to really try and avoid that I suppose one tip is really just to map your indicator button so just indicate to the right to kind of tell everyone well I'm going in the pits that often works 
We find ourselves now in seven with about a third of the race left to go. So good progress so far in the start of this second stint. But let's not forget, I am on the slower of the two tyres. So half the, half the pack, presumably, is going to be on the soft tyre. And we don't know about the fuel situation just yet. I think I've saved a bit more than I have in the previous race, but we'll have to see on that as we edge towards the latter stages of this one. Dropping down through uh, the apex, we're going to skip what a couple of laps. Lap 18 we find ourselves on now. As we cross the line to begin the 19th lap, this signifies five laps remaining in this race. Again, it's a fairly solid position. And uh, the Scirocco behind comes in for a move. Doesn't quite work yet. Gets himself a one second penalty. And unfortunately, as you saw, it had, having to drive a little bit wide on the exit just gives you really dirty. Look how slow I am compared to the car ahead as a result of having uh, the filthy tyres. Um, again, the minus 200 degrees uh, bug springs to mind. So he has that one second penalty, but actually I was so far behind already that I couldn't actually capitalise. So he keeps the inside line here and keeps seven. Uh, so with now four laps remaining, it's going to be a tricky situation here to try to keep this top ten as we are on the back foot at this point. We get ourselves another penalty. So the I'm going to say it again, the rustiness I say in every video. A bit rusty. I need to improve. I need to pr just practice a little bit more, I think. But um, the potential is there. Be the second to last corner. We're in eight. There's three cars not that far ahead. Like, frustratingly close. Uh, three laps remaining. Okay, we got this Toyota for company now, which is rather frustrating. The Toyota very good in the corners. Not so good on the straights. We've got 9% of fuel left. So this is, again, it's just going to be another uncomfortable ending of fuel management. We haven't quite done it enough over the course of the race. We are going to have to, at some point here, start mega, mega short shifting and perhaps using some, using some leaner fuel mixes. As uh, now we have this Toyota very much for company. As you can see, he's in the tow. The BMW in uh, Group 4 is actually not too bad in the straights. I actually feel like it's a decent car. Maybe the fuel is its weak. Thirsty, and but overall, I think it's actually a pretty solid Group Four car. It's not going to be on par with the FF cars a lot of the time, you know, the Audi TT, for example. But um, it is a, a solid car, and I think I should be able to get some results in it. Um, but I will be looking forward more, I think, to the Group Three races. I mean, just, I just prefer Group Three in general. Uh, but um, eight rounds, we'll try and do our best in this in this season. Actually, give it a really good shot of actually getting some decent results. We enter uh, turn two here, lap number 22, and unfortunately just drift a little bit wide. Again, the front left now dying of death. It's been diagnosed with that that uh, fatal illness known as death, and um, it's, it's a sorry state going through any right-hander, which is basically every corner on this track, apart from one. Now, again, let's bring up this fuel mix, because I'm sat here in ninth, again, frustratingly close to the cars ahead, but I just can't really attack at this point, because I'm having to manage fuel. With one lap to go, I've got 1% of fuel, 0.3 laps of fuel remaining, with a whole lap to do. This is going to require some uh, magic fuel saving here. Um, Ricard in the Toyota, drifting a little bit wide. He's got a one second penalty. We could still potentially gain a position here. And in fact, the Aston Martin ahead with a penalty. So we could gain two. But we do have the Scirocco right on our tail. There he is. And, well, I could easily lose the position. So this could go many different ways here. Into fuel mix six, I'm gonna have to concede the position to the Scirocco. I just do not have the fuel. And uh, through here, I'm not gonna use the throttle at all. Just drop it downhill. Let the car just drift down here. And luckily, I've got a bit of a margin to the car behind. And now I can just get on the power and get one last gulp to the line. I've run out of fuel, but well, we are just gonna cross the line in ninth position before we lose out to the Toyota. So there we go. 14 seconds away from the lead. We finished ninth in the end. Which I suppose is not too bad. How many points do we get? 191. So not quite the 200 I was looking for. But 
ultimately i think it was a decent ish performance perhaps could have done better with a couple of less penalties and a bit better fuel management but i think we'll get there over the course of this season we'll slowly improve hopefully now i do hope you enjoyed this video as always thank you so much for watching obviously if you're new maybe consider hitting sub if you did enjoy but in the meantime thank you so much for watching take care and i shall see you next time goodbye